173 days. That's how long I've been here. 173 sunrises I've watched through that tiny window, and soon 173 sunsets. Every night at this time, he brings me my food for the day. Two slices of bread, one slice of cheese, and ketchup served on a paper plate. I get exactly five minutes to eat, and then he forces me to stand up and performs his routine. But not tonight. Tonight is the night I escape. Tonight is the night I break free. There will be no 174th sunrise here. He took me the night of the accident. It was his biggest show to date. Before that night, he was nothing but a struggling magician. But that was his chance to turn it all around. Sensing the pressure, he had impulsively decided to try a new trick that evening. It is indeed difficult to saw a woman in half, but if he had just practiced a bit more, perhaps he would not have failed so miserably. Instead, a woman died that night while an audience of hundreds watched. They dropped the curtain quickly, but not before we saw her blood spill over the sides. In a blink, the magician disappeared, still no one knows where. He has not been seen again, and neither have I. Swept up in the frenzy of the crowd, I was separated from my friends. I called their names, but was inaudible over the screams of horror coming from the audience. I stumbled outside and was pushed into an alleyway. With the brush of a shadow, I was swept inside a van, a bag thrust over my head. The next thing I remember is waking up to the first sunrise, chained and bruised. It's the same way every single night. He brings me my food, I shove it down, and then he performs. He insists that he do the show the same exact way every time to make sure there is not a single mistake. He begins by juggling scarves, followed by a series of card tricks. After watching his damn routine repeatedly, I know where the holes are. At the exact midpoint of the show, he unties just one of my hands so I can choose a card. This is my singular moment of freedom each day, and tonight I will use it to its fullest. Tonight, I have a trick of my own. He always asks me one question, no mistakes, and I respond, no mistakes but there is one. After taking the card back from me, he puts it between his lips before placing it on top of the deck. This will be his second fatal mistake. He will drop just like the dead rats that have surrounded me for months. His act goes on for a while longer, but he always ends with the rabbit in the hat. He makes a show of how calm she stays, but I can always see the fear in her eyes. He bows left and then right. Now, she and I will both be free. The magician always thought he was making magic, but tricks and illusions do not amaze me anymore. The feeling of the wind rushing through your hair, or the grass on your feet, that's magic. Magic is the ability to roam wild with boundless expectations. The freedom of that first sunrise, that's where the real magic is. Mm -hmm.